Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Show. I'm Mal Lee, your host for this evening. Hope everyone's keeping well out there and uh, not working too hard. We are flying through, aren't we, the weeks? Yes, the weeks. Grassroots football season started last weekend. It continues again this coming weekend. Oh, forever and ever, hopefully. And let's just hope... We've had a lot of rain, we know that, but uh, let's just hope that dwindles away now and we get some dry weather because that's what we badly need to keep the pitches, if you're on grass, that is, to keep the pitches nice and moist and dry and just ready for the kids to do a few slide tackles, basically. But I know many leagues are going to be on the 3G, 4G pitches, so it remains to be seen what's going to happen in the surrounding areas when the, the bad weather comes. You mightn't get many cancellations, but at least... Yes, at least the kids can all start playing football. Now, we'd love your thoughts on 3G, 4G pitches. Um, we know the kids are excited to play on them, but um, we talk about the footwear, we talk about uh, what they need, what they don't need to wear, what they need to use, whether the kids can handle the 3G and 4G pitches. Well, they can, can't they? Because uh, whatever you do, there's a ball, you forget what's on their feet, don't you? You just start running with it, dribbling with it, and tackling with it, basically. So um, good luck to everyone, especially in your training sessions. I know my grandson went to um, training last night with River Juniors and enjoyed it. That was his first training session, so uh, it can only get better and better. So it's all uphill for him now. So happy days. We're all excited for him. He, as I say, he enjoyed it and kids do enjoy it, don't they, if they find themselves a team. Now, we've been putting out on social media regarding looking for teams because there's still plenty of people out there still wanting their child to play in a team. They haven't found a team. Um, whether they've played in one before, we're not too sure. Um, but going by social media, the parents are putting it on there trying to find a, a change. And, you know, we always get some kids aren't happy in a team, are they? They all have little bust-ups, don't they? Um, we, we know what happens in junior football. The kids don't get happy. Parents don't get happy, which and unfortunately, when the parents don't get happy with the team, they tend to take their child away to another team um, instead of trying, trying to resolve the situation. And I've seen that many, many times before. So if your team and or your child is looking for the team to play, if your team's looking for players still before your season starts, because we know there's many teams haven't started their season yet, so we have one or two late leagues who are starting up um, because they have less teams in there, but we know the Walton Curtail Junior Football League is starting up on the 23rd. Let's know whether your teams have started playing, and we, we can still get um, children excuse me, into teams, into football teams, if need be. Um, so why not try us out? We can actually put the word out, literally. Yes, literally, you're on the show. Um, we can. You don't have to give the name of the child. You can just give the uh, the age of your child and uh, what team they're looking for, what area you're from. And we know plenty of teams, club managers, committee members that we can contact and ask personally on your behalf whether we can find a team or we'll just put it out on social media if teams are looking for players. And I'm sure they'll get in touch with those teams, if not ourselves. But if you want to get in touch with yourself, then please, or ourselves, why don't you just sort it, get in touch with me, mal at don'ttextheline.com. You can add me as a friend on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the social network sites. We look forward to trying to pr provide your player, your, your son, daughter, with a football team. We hope to try and get them involved in a team. And obviously, if the teams are out there, well, we're looking to try and get them into teams as well before it's not too late. And anyway, we've got plenty of time to get them in, especially if they're the um, Walton Curtail Junior Football League. This is the Merseyside area. Now, obviously, you can still get in touch with us. It doesn't have to be the Merseyside area. We'll get in touch with teams from your area. And why not give us a go? Mal at don'ttextheline.com. As I say, you can get in touch with us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and all the social network sites which I've just said. So it's uh, well worth you trying us out for a change. Yes, trying us out. We'll put it on social media. We'll make sure that your child um, is well is well publicised, not by name, obviously. Um, and they can get in touch with you. So we'll ask for your personal details. If you want them to, you can just email them to me. And they can get in touch with yourself, mum, dad, grandparents, whoever you may be. If you're involved in another team, you want more teams, 
Well, simply just get in touch with us. Try us out. We know we've got plenty of social media sites, but if it's not, not getting the results, then we'll put it out. Word by word, word of mouth. That's what it's all about with us, isn't it? Yes, the grassroots show, maladontextland.com. Respect. Yes, we're all about it. And that's what we want to see when your child actually does get into a team. Mums, dads, we ask you as a big message out there as well, please, when you're on the touchlines, make sure that your child is supported. And what I mean by that is develop the skills not just on the football field with the coaches, but why not develop them off the football field as well? Because we'd like to see loads of respect, respect on and off the field of play. The children can only develop skills. Now, if mum and dad are shouting there, and the grandparents as well, towards the referee, giving the referee loads of stick with the decisions that they're coming up with, then the children are only going to copy what you're doing because if you think if it's all right for mum and dad or granddad and nan shouting then it's all right for me shouting at the referee we don't want that we want to put that to bed we want to make grassroots football the place to be we want to make sure that those children are enjoying their team they don't want to leave the team they're developing with the coach the coaches are going to be good out there developing the children to play and that's what it's all about the kids are excited and they want encouragement from the touchline so mums and dads please please talk to your managers or managers coaches talk to your parents and tell them what you expect of them throughout the season now my daughter is absolutely fantastic she'll stand back and just let the coach deal with the child himself because as he said it wasn't concentrating but when the coaches start raising the voice a little bit then they stand up and listen they just think it's all about kicking that ball and getting to the ball first. But once they start getting the child into that, into the groove, then they learn dramatically. They develop unbelievably, and especially when the game starts. So I like the way the coaches are just letting them, not playing matches, but developing their skills at the moment. And then when it comes to the football games, then they can coach them and tell them what they expect of them. But as I say, it's great to know that children can play in teams and if you're still looking for teams, again, get in contact with us. We will actually put it out there and hopefully your child will find a team. So you can see us on the grassroots show, you can see us on social media and any time we'll put it through throughout the day to find your child, to make sure that your child ends up on a team because there's some great managers out there and coaches who will not let your child go the season without finding a team. They'll all club together. That's what grassroots is about. It's about the family. Yes, the grassroots family. And they all team together. And I know one manager in particular, Colin Fulton, he detests any child not getting into a team. He's absolutely fantastic. And he will do anything to help me if there's a child looking for a team. He'll go into every club he can possibly to help that child or team to get into a league, whichever it may be. So the help is always at hand. Don't fret, don't worry about it. There's plenty of time to get your child into a football team and the team managers don't really worry. They just get on with the game until kids come to them. Because I know from, well, me being a manager once, say, when I was training with the children and you see the kids... You know, you 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 thin on the ground. You've you've lost two or three children. You just turn up at training sessions, and mums and dads seem to turn up with their child and say, "Is there any possible chance they can come into this team?" I was talking to so and so, so and so. So word of mouth is magic. And as I say, try us out, and we will publicise that your child is looking for a team. But as I say, we need the age group, the year, the school year, and also the area that you'd like your child to play in and where you'd like to go train, and we can put that out as well. And there's many managers out there who will try and benefit you, and th there's plenty of areas as well. So please try us out, and let's see what we can do for you, for your child, and for you managers as well. We'll emphasise that you're looking for one. We'll give you a nice mention as well, all the managers, because you're old enough to be mentioned. No data protection there. Anyway... That's what it's all about, making sure that children can play throughout 2018, 2019. And we ask the coaches as well to develop the child, not just on the football field, but off the football field as well. Respect, respect. We're going for respect on the 13th and 14th of April for our awareness weekend. And we'd love your support in this if you can, please. Wow, there you go. We've come to the end of another show. We'll be back again 
tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. So thanks very much for everyone tuning in and thanks for everyone getting in touch with us with the child name to find out a football team. So for myself, Mal Lee and all the team here at the Grassroots Show, Don't Cross the Line and Respect Campaign, we wish you a very good evening. Have a great night. Good night. God bless. <laughs>